Black Friday approaches, and that means one thing. The Japanese make some crazy shit, yeah, but what can you expect? They've lived isolated on an island for like, what, thousands of years? Your brain's bound to make up some weird stuff. They had Galaga, Donkey Kong, and of course, hard drug dealers. Now, what can I say? It was a sign of the times. Pac-Man popping pills, Mario's eating mushrooms, and Simon Belmont? Terrible off-screen addiction to heroin. Look at him in part four. Could barely hold his whip. It's sad, really. So to make an example of my point, I'm gonna play Hercules game on a Commodore 64. It's called Hercules. What a name. I guess they didn't have to try back then, it was the 80s. All I had to worry about was Ronald Reagan talking about Gorbachev! Well, at the very least, I can say this game was innovative for its time. It's open-ended and has heavy real-life themes, which most concurrent games had little of, if any. But perhaps it's a bit too open-ended. Where am I supposed to go? The bank? The culture club? Grilled Mormon Mo Mormons? Maybe scratch that last one. Yeah, I don't think that's a thing. Anyone living back then will be able to recall for you the wealth of PSAs on the topic that ranged from realistic to ludicrous. <laughs> Look. Yeah. Aside, the game works on a cursor system. It's basically like a point and click adventure. I eventually found out that if you double tap, she starts to run, which is nice because otherwise I'd be walking everywhere like that. As you walk around the mansion, crazy events can happen at random, which keeps the tension high. Whoa! 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 whoa. <laughs> Maybe it takes some Pepto Bismol before you come into work, Chief. I <laughs> spin peas all over the dang place. Next up is a game called. Next up is. Next up is a game called. Next one up's a bit weird. It's called Moemon. Well, I gotta say, there's not much to this one. You just. You just sort of beat the shit out of this guy, and uh, there's all these things going on in the corners of the screen that I just. I just have no idea what the hell. Now herein lies the problem with Nightshade. You'd walk into an arcade and you'd see something like this, something like this, and then, whoa, what's that? The future? Is that Blade Runner? Is that Elijah Wood and Back to the Future 2? <laughs> so Hoots here explains to you that it was the work of the evil wizard Mordak that caused King Graham's castle to vanish. Oh, that's King Graham, by the way. And that you should go back with him to the land of the MacGuffins. Now that all sounds good and fine, except... <laughs> Jumping in a car killed me. No, it's sad, not really. That's the way we wash our hands! I wish I knew what's up with those dogs. I don't know, Larry. Maybe they smell your fear. I would know since I got mauled by them. Gee, thanks. Like, I needed to hear that. I've seen wooden actors. I've also seen wood and nothing. Nothing comes close to Femshep over here. I mean, this guy controls like he's having a romp through a field of honey. Oh, and please, don't let me forget the star attraction here. Shooting balance. All right, I just, I gotta leave, okay? No, we just started, come on, man. We listen, just, listen, gotta... there's a lot to see in this life. I'm not wasting it here. All right, let's just go ahead and uh, fuck this bad boy up right here. Put that up, put this in here. Get ready to start playing some Monster Party. Oh, wait, I gotta get the game. I don't think we're- King's Quest V, Absence Makes the Heart Go Yonder. How, How dare you say that to me? me.